This is a view of the war on terror that you never see. These exclusive pictures obtained by CBS News show Pakistani troops attacking a compound in the fiercely independent tribal town of Warner two weeks ago. They detained several men, including two Al-Qaeda suspects believed to be Arabs. This operation is part of the Pakistani army's latest unprecedented effort to track down Osama bin Laden and his followers in the hostile territory along the border with Afghanistan. More than two years since they were forced from power, the Taliban are still a threat in Afghanistan, as these pictures show. We're told this is a Taliban rocket attack on a U.S. base in eastern Afghanistan last month. The Taliban say they've reclaimed a third of the country. The U.S. Army says the face of the war here has changed to a classic guerrilla insurgency, and they've adapted their strategy accordingly. By having a regular presence in villages like these, the U.S. Army is using their enemy's own tactics against them, making it extremely difficult for the enemy to hide behind the local population. Security is the crucial issue here. So far, more than a million Afghans have registered to vote for the first time in their lives. But national elections, scheduled for June, may be delayed, in part because of terrorist threats. What would happen if the U.S. military pulled out of this country tomorrow? I think the system will collapse. I think the terrorists will become active. They'll take over the country again. And will you go back in square number one? Isn't that what the terrorists are waiting for? Absolutely. Although the pace of change here has been slow, conditions are improving. A new road linking the capital to Kandahar in the south is one of the most visible symbols of progress. And there are now more Afghan children in school than at any time in the country's history, including two million girls who were banned from education under the Taliban. Do you think women feel that things are starting slowly to change? Yes, not slowly. I think fast. I'm very happy. Future security in Afghanistan will depend on the Afghans themselves and new national institutions like the army and police force. But they're still a long way from being ready or able to stand on their own. Lara Logan, CBS News, Kabul.